Welcome to my first vegetable garden. This is video number two in a series of three on starting loose leaf lettuces indoors and getting them you know, out to your garden. We're at 21 days. These were started, the first video was done on February 5th. So this is 21 days worth of growth and these are the seeds that we started. They're doing extremely well. So at three weeks, sometime, somewhere between 15 and 25 days, these are ready to come out of the cells, get into your flower boxes and go outside. We're going to talk about a couple of things today. One, obviously transplanting them, two fertilizers, and three acclimation. Let's go right to the fertilizers. As a new gardener, there's so much out there about being 100% organic. And I want to say right up front, organic gardening is not better than other types of gardening. Either be 100% organic, because you choose to, that's great. You can use 100% processed chemical fertilizers, that's fine, that's your choice. You can do what I do, I use a combination of both and a lot of compost, but I can't say I'm 100% organic. The reason I say that is because you don't need to be 100% organic to have healthy, wholesome food from your garden. Those words are connected, it's a myth. So use what you want. You can use, again, you can use fish emulsion, a 5-on-1 fertilizer, We'll talk about that in a second. You can use what I use for my indoor transplants, a processed chemical fertilizer, 10, 10, 10 at a quarter strength. This bottle is three years old. It's inexpensive. You can use whatever you want. So your plants cannot tell the difference between a processed or chemical fertilizer, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, all the nutrients, or an organic fertilizer, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, all the nutrients. The plants don't know. They're going to thrive no matter what you use. Either one isn't better, either one isn't worse, you're not harming yourself. Pick what works in your budget, pick what's available to you. Now, when you use organic fertilizers, they will feed the soil, they will feed the soil life, but that's a different story than whether or not fertilizers can harm or make a better plant. And we'll talk about that in other videos. So feeding, I like to use the processed fertilizer. So this is a 10-10-10. I use it at quarter strength, and that really breaks us down to a 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. At week one, one week after these plants germinate and you got a week's worth of growth, you want to give them a light feeding of nitrogen, somewhere between a 2.5 and a 5, you know, one time a week. Let, uh, leaf lettuces are mostly water, like 90 plus percent water. They really only need nitrogen. They're going to get plenty of trace nutrients from your fertilizers from the soil, but you're focusing on nitrogen. You want leaf growth because that's what we put in our, in our salads. So after a week of germination, about one time weekly, two times weekly, give them a feeding of nitrogen. If you're going to use the fish emulsion, you can do that. That's at a 5-1-1. That's perfectly fine. What you will find is fish emulsion or some of the organic fertilizers smell more and they may attract insects. They may grow more uh, mold or fungus, but that mold and fungus isn't really harmful towards your leaves. That's just really up to you what you decide to use. So we got the feedings done. The plants are looking good. You're giving them, you know, a low dose of nitrogen, taking care of them. So now we're at 21 days. Now, before we can get to planting in the flower boxes and putting them outside, these plants, in theory, have been growing indoors. They haven't seen the sun. They haven't seen the wind felt the wind, and they haven't felt the changes in temperature. So if you put these straight from here after being indoors three weeks, never seeing the outdoors and put them outside, the sun's going to burn the leaves, the wind's going to damage them because they're not strong enough, and they're not going to like the cold. They're going to be stressed out, and they're going to get harmed. So you have to acclimate. You have to get these used to the outdoors. So starting on the second week, about a week ago, these have been going outside for an hour or two a day over a seven-day period getting used to the sun, the wind, and the temperatures. And these are ready to go outside. So let me show you how to set up your flower box. You're going to end up with a planting just like this. Let me get one that's not planted. And this is my, star, uh, my container mix from last year. Just go in, loosen it up, remove all the old roots. Soon as your soil as soon as your temperatures have really gotten to the point where it's no longer frozen, you can start planting lettuces. And remember, lettuces can take a frost, 
they can actually freeze through and do perfectly fine. But you want to make sure that the temperatures are supporting a uh, soil containers or in your ground that aren't freezing and staying frozen solid. Now to set this up, I said I use both. This is about two tablespoons of an organic fertilizer. Tomato tone. It is a three, four, six fertilizer. This will feed my plant. It's in an insoluble form. Insoluble means that the plant can't use this right away. The microorganisms, the microbiology, the microbes in the earth, in the soil, have to break this down into a usable form of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But I like to put that in there so this starts working over the next couple of months. That's my organic setup. I also use the chemical fertilizers. So now that you're at this point, we're going to take some of the lettuces. This is a red leaf lettuce. And this is all you do. Gently pull it apart. You can see how much we packed in here. And again, we're harvesting this just for the leaves. That's why we've overcrowded it. We're gonna go up and down our flower boxes in our gardens and just pull leaves off of the different plants until we have a nice bowl of lettuce for our salads. The way you do this is right down the center, break the root ball up so that you get 50% on one side of roots on one side, 50% on the other. Sometimes it doesn't break out evenly, but that's perfectly fine. And then you're just going to plant just like this. Plant to the depth of the starting mix and just maybe a quarter inch past that. Make sure you pull up all the leaves. You can go a little bit higher, but you're really getting to about here in the planting depth. Put the other one in. You can do two or three inches apart. And again, we're just growing this for the leaves for really a process called cut and come again lettuce where we're not ripping out the whole plant, we're just taking leaves. Which one is this? See if I... This is Selway. Same thing. Right down the middle. Let's go with... This is a red romaine. Right down the middle. And now we have three different kinds of lettuce varieties in here, all being grown for the leaves. When they start getting about this tall, you can just go start taking leaves from all your different plants and start, you know, building your own lettuces. Now, like I said, I like to use both. This is the quarter strength processed fertilizer. Water them in. You are not harming yourself or your plants by using processed or chemical fertilizers. That is a choice that's up to you. Use either one. When you're on a budget or you can only find the processed or chemical fertilizers, go ahead and use it. You're still gonna have healthy, great food. If you like the organics, go ahead and buy those. They can be a little more expensive. Personally, I have a couple videos where on, at Walmart, all these go on sale. This was 75% off. So when your organic products go on sale in December at Walmart or different stores, that's when I go and buy a whole lot of them. This is all you need to do, you know, to get your plants from your starting trays into your flower boxes and then, you know, go ahead and get them outside. So in the third video, we're going to talk about harvesting, getting the plants into the ground. I'm also going to put these smaller plants, the single plants, I should say, they're not smaller, but the single plants into the garden and growing these for a full head of lettuce. It's a little bit of a different process. Hope you enjoyed the video. It gives you some idea and some confidence to just start your seed mix. You start your lettuces just like this in the overseeding method. Let them grow, divide them up, get them into your flower boxes, and you're going to have a great season um, in your garden and you're going to have a great cool weather season. These are cool weather crops. 
So these will do really well until the heat comes and then again, come fall, you're going to be able to grow these again. So keep that in the back of your mind. Cool weather crops are usually two season um, vegetables. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.